What is up everyone? Back again, back again here at Sand Hollow. We are teeing off, showing you the front nine here on the championship course here at Sand Hollow. It's a fun one. We've already played it once. Beautiful course, beautiful front nine. We're excited to take you along today. Zach and I are gonna be doing an alternate shot scramble here on the front nine. See how low we can go. Comment right now. Do you think we can break even? I like our chances, especially how I've been playing. Zach's been playing pretty well himself. So the eagle on the last video was pretty special. It was. I didn't know if that was in the bag for you on this trip, and you proved me wrong. Proved me wrong. First full day. First full true. day. We got a lot more days ahead. Speaking of that, you better subscribe. You better ring the notifications. You better subscribe to Zach. Ring his notifications. You better follow along. Number one here, straightaway par four, 440 yards. Dude, how I let it fly. Oh, he's done it. He didn't need a warm up. Thing of beauty. Fading a little right. We'll take it. Should be good to go right there. I love leaving myself just like 112 yards to the pin after like a 330 yard drive. I love it. I love whenever I really get it out there because on the alternate shot, what Zach hits is what I hit and vice versa. So we're only as good as our weakest link. I'm not gonna name names, but that being said, 112 to the pin. Hopefully I can get it somewhere close. Hopefully I don't end up in these red bunkers. Those Think things are pretty sweet. They are awesome. And there is more sand here than anywhere else. Cause if you go right, you go left on most of these holes, you're hitting out of the sand. Needs to travel. That is a little short left. We've got some work to do. That was less than desirable. Chunked it just a little. First swing of the day. It'll be all right. We'll get it back on track. Hopefully Zach knocks this close or in. And then I don't even have to putt. But strategy, he may want to knock it really close. I'd tap it in. He gets the drive on the next hole. After all that squatting, I'm gonna end up having catcher's knees. Be walking around like Pudge Rodriguez. Oh, hold it. That's a little long. Left a lot. Yep, for Andrew, a par -par. I hope you came to roll the rock today. We've, we've got a long one for par. Alrighty, here's what we're faced with right there. That was a little strong. I, I didn't leave it short. You didn't. This is a tall task for a par here on one. Go. That was honestly a really good putt. Thought I'd break a little bit more. That was a good roll. No joke. We got a lot of work to do because I'm Ting off now on the next hole as long as Zach makes that. Zach to clean up the bogue. All right, that was, you know, we're just getting loose, just getting warm. Next hole, par five, number two, I'm calling a birdie. Not the way we wanted to start, but we got redemption here on number two, 577, straight away. If I carry that bunker, we're in good shape for Eagle. I like our chances at Eagle. I did want y'all to let y'all in. Just oh, creak open the door. Take a, just a little look-see inside. Zach and I's evening last night. Uh, we ate up at the grill. Had this chicken Alfredo pizza. I don't want to hear how that was a Husky rad decision. I thought we were trying to lose weight, not, not put on the weight. All bets are off. We're on the road. 
That chicken Alfredo pizza was delicious, but it went straight out of the oven and into my mouth. I burnt my face off. I was brushing my teeth last night and this morning. Brush your teeth, kids, twice a day at least. Floss as well, huge. I know people don't talk about it enough, floss. But I was brushing my teeth, blood everywhere from the burn. I don't know how I'm even playing golf. I should be resting, I should be recovering, but it's just what we do. Easy, easy. All right, that did take a hop left and there is shrubbery over there. That is low and left. It does open up. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, we're going to go look for that one. I'm hoping we can find that. Thankfully, this is not like super, super thick in here. However, 360 yards left. Um, long ways home. Not going to be reaching it. And there's some bushes right in front, so I can't hit a very low lofted club. We're going to have to hit a seven iron here. We're just going to hit it down the fairway. See if we can get it close for Andrew. That's in good shape right there, but I did catch it just a hair chunky. We're gonna be in the fairway up there, but Andrew may have like 200 yards, maybe 190 left, so yeah. All righty, Andrew's got five iron. We've got uh, a little over 200 left. Pin is on the right side. Let's see if he can't knock one up there close. Give us a birdie look. That was hit really well and right. Oh, it did hit the rocks. Oh, it's out. Are you serious? Kicked out, <laughs> played it off the rocks, meant to do that. That scream was just uh <laughs> That was a high pitched scream. Oh. Yeah, probably not the most manly thing I've ever done, but we're out, we're playable. We are gonna knock that one up and knock it in. I love how these rocks look and I love how they kick right back out into play. You do like those rock face kind of backboards on the right side of the green. Andrew tried to play it on one of the other holes on the back nine. I don't know. He, he is a big fan of the backboard on the right side. 45 yards left. Need to knock this close. You hate to start off with two bogeys. We're getting this up and down. It could be really close. Might be just a little long. This is a lot. Lengthy putt here on number two for par. This would be huge. Really be a momentum shifter for. And it just didn't want to break. I know. Not a good speed. Good speed on that. Where's the break? Y'all are about to see the biggest turn of events moving forward over the next seven holes you've ever seen. Y'all's minds are about to be blown. We just flipped the proverbial light switch on. Well, that was a bogey. Andrew's nestling them up there close. Andrew's gonna be hitting the tee shot here on number three. I've got a good feeling. We need a good one from Andrew. Let's at least turn it around and start on a par streak, if not a birdie streak, on to three. 205, five iron. Not hitting them exactly how I want, but do have to walk before I can run. So we're gonna knock it up there like five feet. I like it. Better contact, heading to the left side of the green. I have no idea where that ended. I couldn't see it down. I, I was looking through the camera. Over. Was it not? I mean, it might be a little long. We'll see. All right. It was good contact. We'll take it. Solid contact by Andrew right there. Pin high left. If you're going to miss it on this hole, that's where you want to miss it. A lot of green to work with. A little bumper run pitching wedge. Let's get it up and down. Just 
flow, right? Should be pretty good. We gotta make this putt. It's about four feet. We need Julian Edelman. We need a spark plug in. Just something in the slot, a little over the middle, dink and dunk, pick up the first down, on to the next one. That was huge. We needed that. Julian Edelman, thank you. Beautiful par. Ah, I think I see the tide turning. Number four, par four, 466. Driver in hand, couple bunkers up there, kind of on the right side. So as long as we can miss them just to the left, should be good. Folks at home, y'all better buckle up. Y'all are about to be taken on a wild ride these last six holes. We got ourselves a par in the bag. It's birdie time. We're birdie hunting left, right, maybe an eagle. Who knows? Couldn't tell from here. Kind of heading at that right bunker. Did cut it a little too much. I think it's short of it. We'll go find out. That was a pretty good drive there, Zach. Not sure how I'm gonna hit this next one. We just witnessed something tragic. Um, floppers did not make it. I don't know if it was a coyote or a vulture, but gotta get it out of my head. Under our birdie luck. Wow, Andrew, I think you just hit that like 400 yards. And the club twirl? We didn't get the club twirl because we were zoomed in. Oh, that was easily top three club twirls of my life. That was amazing, beautiful shot. Let's get a bird. There we are. I thought that was gonna be on the green, but good grief. I just hit that eight iron like two bills. Probably should have hit a pitching wedge to 180. I didn't realize my own strength. I don't know if it was quite two bills, but it was a long eight iron nonetheless. We need to get this up and down. We don't want any more bogeys today. You know what, Zach? I think we are outlawing the B word on the channel for the rest of this round. Okay. The only B word we're allowed to say is birdies and beautiful birdies. Love it, love it, love it. Oh. That is what we needed right there. That is what we needed. Just the nice little lob pass over the middle, setting it up for Andrew. That was big. We needed that. That needed was that. big. Two bogeys, two pars. Now time for two birdies. And two eagles. And two eagles, maybe an albatross. All right, Zach, what do we have here? We have a par four, number five, 352 yards. I'm gonna hit a stinger here. Some bunkering kind of on the right side. Pretty much straight away. See if we can't put a wedge in Andrew's hands. Zach, we've called on Julian already. Yes, we have. I think it's time for, for Randy Moss. Call him in 8-4 off the bench. Tom Brady over the top. We need a deep ball right here. Not too bad, squirted a little right, but should be short of those bunkers. All right, got about 106, you think? Something like that. 106 left, got the eagle club in hand. That was hit really, really well. Kind of middle of the green. All righty. We'll take that all day. Yes, sir. Let him in. It's a solid putt. It was a good roll. You know, didn't leave it short. Just about a foot and a half, maybe two feet left. I think Zach's strategy on that one was just let Andrew finish out the putt <laughs> so he can start off driving. I don't hate that strategy. <laughs> All right, just a couple feet, maybe a foot and a half left here for the par. Very nice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Another par, two over through five. We gotta get to even. Yes, we do. Zach is getting attacked by the butterfly. <laughs> it is on his head. He is 
not I a mean, butterfly. Is this he is thing? acting like it is a what great white that? shark. That thing was huge. I, I, was put, I hope that lands on your head. You're right. Turn. Turn. Oh. You're right. You're right. Let it, let it land. I mean, guys, what it is couldn't it be bee? any. It's a bee. I don't want that thing to land a bee, on me. A bee with wings? Oh, well, that was dumb. Wings. That was dumb. I mean, Bees have wings, have wings. But How do these they were massive flapping I butterfly wings. This is number six. We're two over, 496 yards, par four, straight away. This is a very long hole. It does bend slightly to the left. I said straight away. There's a bunker down the left side. We just want to keep it just to the right of it. Down the right side, it's gonna be fine. Just plays a little longer from that angle. The further left here you can hit it, the more you cut off. So Andrew, it's gonna be a downhill shot. Might be in the right rough. We've gotta get this right miss out of there. Might have like 200 yards in. So yeah, I hope you hit a good one. 217 left, going five iron, little downhill. I don't think I need to get all of it because I mean, I think I hit that eight iron about 215, so. <laughs> you might have. That might be the best contact today from you, Andrew. Heading just a little left. All right, we're still in play. Need not, to get that up and down. Not ideal. I usually do horrible on slanted, whatever slant that would be, because I usually just film that way. So I tried to overcorrect and I did just a little too much. Not bad, I'll take it. All right, here we are on the left side, pin high. I did leave Zach a lot of work to do. He's got a little little baby mountain. There's a little slope there just onto the green. Hopefully land it just a foot or two on, kill some of the speed, kind of trundles up and over the slope. Oh, I think that's it. Dude, right, oh, right. get in. <laughs> you couldn't ask for much better. That's how he drew it up. Now Andrew's got a few feet left here for par. See if he can't roll the rock. Beautiful. Good work. There it is. Another you, par. You're getting good at those two footers. Thank you. What can I say? We're currently two over par through six holes. We're on to number seven, par five. 576. This is our opportunity to get a birdie. Let's tee it high. Let it fly. All right, Zach, get me one out there about 280. Let my three wood do its job. Oh, there she is. Might have to call home for that one. Down the left side, should be in go zone for A-Rad 17. About 262 left, three wood in hand. That was hit well, is it enough? It's fading to the right side of the green, maybe just a little right of it. But all in all, great swing. Thank you, we'll take that one all day. I may have found a new club. This three wood, beautiful. A little short right of the green, but I will take that three wood all day long. Absolutely, not a bad place to be. We've got a little green to work with. Maybe 35 yards left. I've got a 60 degree. See if we can't get it up there close. Give Andrew a look for that tweeter. I will say, Zach, just let him know. We've got a pretty substantial headwind coming right in our face. It's got to be blown at least a mile or two right back into us. I think it could have been on the green without that wind. Oh, oh. I think I just saw the flag move. Just like. See, it is whipping. He hits this one close. I love our chances at a birdie. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's got birdie written all over it. Good work. Thanks, sir. This is our first legit birdie look today. Like, really a great chance here. Did you come to play today? 
Is there a day I don't come to play? That is true. Well, maybe on the first couple. And he read that putt perfectly. Let's go. That was like one of those quarter machines you used to have at like the malls where you put the quarter in and it just whoosh, 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 whoosh. Birdie. Love it. Feet. Let's go. What is Zach doing over there? Switching out his club, he didn't have enough. He was like, oh, there's a little puff of breeze. Of course there is. It's just being cautious. I was just not lying cautious. to you people. I would never lie to y'all. 154, par three, number eight. Just made a tweeter, one over par. Pins pretty much in the middle, maybe slightly on the left side. I'm gonna go with a little smooth nine iron. That way, even if there is a breeze up there, it's not affected. Putting little right, right side should be on a good number. I think you could roll in a long one. That would be ideal. If, if I had a steady hand, I'd be the most dangerous videographer in the game. No questions asked. Me, me. We got a road runner on the loose. He is flying. Wally, coyote, where you at? Just had to put on a little more chapstick. My lips are chapped. I probably should get like a Bliss Tech sponsorship. No big deal, reach out to me. Drop them in the DMs. You could sign me. I mean, anyways, on, probably won't use that, but <laughs> onto the birdie chance. Lengthy putt, pretty tough. Probably gonna fall a little bit to the left, maybe a little right, then back to the left. Downhill a little bit. That's looking pretty good. There was not an ounce of break. I didn't break much. That was pretty straight. It was exactly where I wanted it. I thought that was dropping. That was I was about roll. to start my walk. <laughs> that was a good roll. Zach has not putted for quite a few holes. Let's see if he can shake off the rust. Oh, that was a big last three, four, five, like the last what? Five holes. That's some good golf. I think we got our swagger back. Oh, oh. That, um, I hope no one was watching. Oh no, people are probably dying in there. Like they're like up there on their balcony. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was cute. Oh, thank you. The wildlife out here is unbelievable. It's just chilling in the shade over there. Front row Zach seat. was just informing me on what exactly hollows are. You may have to fact check this, but it is kind of interesting. All these bunnies, they burrow these little holes. They have a whole little underground tunnel system that they're all communicating and talking to and scheming together. It's pretty cool, pretty unique. But if I could somehow shrink myself down somehow get myself into these little holes, figure out their economy, figure out who's in charge. And once I do that, I could probably just rule all the bunnies and be a bunny king. All right, we got number nine here, par four, bunkers down the left, 430 yards. Andrew is going with driver. We need something in play, currently one over. This would be huge to shoot one over, honestly. One over? Yeah. We still got birdie chance here well, on, we do. on nine. We need this tee ball in play. That might be Andrew's best swing today thus far. And that, I have to say, was a pretty good club twirl. We will take that. Andrew, that was your best swing today, for sure. Today, on the day, yes. 161, up the hill, got a nine iron here. We can knock this close and have a possible chance at shooting even par in this alternate shot. I would take that all day, every day. Did we oh. just go under? Oh. Keep drawing. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know. It didn't go in, but <laughs> it was just a little right. We've got a birdie luck. A 
if Andrew can roll the rock right here and us finish at even par, that would be awesome. Andrew, this is what we were looking for to finish right here. Beautiful shot. How crazy would this be after a plus two start to go even? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? To make two birdies in an alt shot? Are we gonna be like the co-mayors of Sand Hollow? We could be. I'll, I'll leave that up for them. <laughs> By the way, this clubhouse is sweet, sitting atop the hill, overlooking just beautiful, beautiful views. Andrew here for the birdie, probably breaking a little from his right to his left towards us here behind the camera. Oh no, he left it short. Did the nerves get to you? In a moment like that, you know what happened? What didn't happen? You did not call on Mariano. Oh, what in the world? That's oh, a coaching error. That is. I left in the starter way too long. He was pitching a beautiful game. Started off a little rocky. You can't, can't let that happen. Can't let that happen. You know what? I'm still counting one over as long as you make that putt. All right. A victory. To finish it off, no pressure. Please don't miss this. We are in. One over par and an alt shot. Really, I'm very happy with that, especially with how we started. Because there was a moment there that it was like, ah, are we going to bogey every single hole? And then, you know, we got our feet under us, started making some better swings, hit some good chips, had some great par saves, and then, you know, made that birdie back on seven. That was huge. That was the momentum shift we needed. This was so much fun. Sand Hollow is amazing. Greens are pure, fairways pure. The people are life. pure. Yeah, absolutely. This place is awesome. Have really enjoyed being here. Guys, one over on the front nine on the championship course at Sand Hollow. I'll take that all the time. We are starting to play pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you again, Sand Hollow. Keep following us along on the journey as we are on our road trip. We will be here another couple days. On to the next one, and then on to the next one, and then on to the next one. Keep tracking, so subscribe to both of us. Ring the notifications. I think that's it for us today. What a fun little challenge. We played well. N really nothing else you could ask for. So stay radical. We'll see you next time. See ya.